G'day, I'm Worldwide Damien Kavanagh, here to tell you all about Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference overnight in Cupertino, and what a morning it's been in California. Apple have ushered us into the age of spatial computing with the announcement of the Vision Pro mixed reality headset and unveiled a suite of new OSs. But let's start with some new Mac hardware. Emphasising the popularity of the MacBook Air, especially with the power of Apple Silicon, we now have a 15-inch model. With everything the 13-inch offers, plus 18 hours battery life and so much more screen real estate, we're particularly excited to see how our business and enterprise customers take advantage of this new form factor. The Mac Studio has been updated with the M2 Max and the first appearance of the M2 Ultra, which gives us huge performance gains compared to the already phenomenal M1 Ultra. In either configuration, the Mac Studio has received an upgrade that makes it a clear choice for creative workflows. And if you need more power than that, we now have the first Mac Pro with Apple Silicon. With the new M2 Ultra as the base configuration, memory up to a whopping 192 gigabytes and supporting PCIe expansion slots, the Mac Pro is back with a vengeance and ready for anything. With this announcement, Apple have finally converted each Mac variant to Apple Silicon. Now, with hardware out of the way, let's have a look at operating systems. Apple take us to Californian wine country with Mac OS 14, Sonoma. Widgets will be coming to the Mac desktop and are now interactive. Plus, get widgets from your iPhone or iPad on your Mac without installing the app. Video calling enhancements will mean better calls on FaceTime and third-party solutions like Teams or Zoom, particularly when presenting content. We're very interested in the new Safari profile support and what it means for using Macs for both personal and work or education tasks. We're also getting improved support for web apps like Confluence to behave like local apps, even with icons in the dock. Now for iOS 17. Fans of personal branding will love contact posters, giving you control of how you and your contact info appear on other people's devices. Live voicemail gives you a real-time transcript of the message being left. Messages sees a range of updates, like the new check-in safety feature to keep loved ones apprised of your movements, and custom stickers created with iOS 16's amazing drag the subject out of the photo feature. AirDrop has been enhanced with the name drop feature to share contact info by tapping phones, and AirDrop transfers will complete securely and remotely via the web if you leave before they're finished. AutoCarrot is now powered by machine learning and works for entire sentences and learns your personal grammar over time. Continuing on from the lock screen customization abilities iOS 16 gave us, iOS 17 will provide a dashboard style lock screen to display relevant info and keep you up to date. Great for those who already keep their iPhone on charge at their work desk. Both mobile OSs get the new interactive widgets. Run a shortcut, complete a reminder, play media, all without opening the app itself. Now onto iPad OS 17. Lock screen customization has come to the iPad. After its success in iOS 16, iPad users will now have the ability to add widgets, change fonts, and use a variety of wallpapers. The landscape photo shuffle looks amazing on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I can't wait to see what it looks like on a bigger screen. PDF support has been greatly enhanced with automatic form support and new ways to collaborate and edit in notes. We can see this saving time and hassle in many workplaces and learning environments. While many of us are still getting used to external display support for iPad, Apple have expanded this functionality with webcam support and more UI tweaks. Amongst a raft of AirPlay improvements, we're particularly keen to hear more about AirPlay in hotels. Adding yet another way to connect with friends, family and colleagues, FaceTime is coming to Apple TV. Using continuity camera, you can shoot with your iPhone and view on your TV for even better conference calls or catch-ups. We saw a fantastic collection of updates with WashOS 10, with more accurate sensor data and many UI enhancements. After years of rumours, Apple have finally revealed a mixed reality headset, the Vision Pro. Bridging the digital and physical worlds with an array of cameras and other sensors and ready for any task thanks to an M2 processor alongside the new display-centric R1 coprocessor, Vision Pro will give AR and VR their iPhone moments. The operating system for the Vision Pro is Vision OS and will be familiar to anyone that's used an Apple device. All the stock Apple apps are there, some with Vision OS specific updates, and many third-party iPad and iPhone apps are supported by default. Authenticating on the new device will be achieved using Optic ID to scan your iris. Vision Pro will allow you to place apps or displays anywhere in the space around you. For Mac users, 
Vision Pro will operate as an external display or external displays. And you can even use existing input devices like keyboards and trackpads in addition to gaze, gesture and voice recognition. Imagine the productivity opportunities from having a wall of monitors surrounding you. FaceTime users will have an entirely new experience on Vision Pro with all those cameras tracking body movements and facial expressions to generate a realistic digital avatar. And speaking of cameras, the Vision Pro is Apple's first 3D camera capable of recording stills, video and spatial audio, capturing content like never before. Vision Pro will allow a new approach to work with all of your apps and displays existing virtually within the device for you to use anywhere. Collaborating on video conferences looks amazing, plus the integration of the Mac display for intensive tasks could not have been executed more smoothly. With no confirmed Australian release date as yet, the only negative about this incredible new type of device is not knowing how quickly we can get our hands on one. And that's it for our WWDC keynote recap, the biggest in years. CompNow provides IT built for you. For more information on anything we've shared today, or to discuss how your business or school can take advantage of the new products or features, contact your CompNow account manager or email info at compnow.com.au.